I want to talk a little bit about your your book, uh, Bears Want to Kill You, which I, was I don't, which was cr- <laughs> because it terrifies you. Yeah, yeah, um, <laughs> because it was uh, it was your first crowdfunded project, if if that's correct. What was that mm-hmm. experience like? How did you get Bears Want to Kill You off the ground? And now that you've done the second printing, I've got two copies of it here. I got my hardcover, um, and then I've got our our paperback. Um, back here, which I've, I've got some excerpts that I want to read to you, and uh, can, and I want to know what some of the inspiration can was. Can I have the soft these. copy? No, you can't. Can I have my uh, Cheetos back? You can't have anything. Um, so, <laughs> what was it that that made you want to go the the crowdfunding route, and and what was that experience like? So, my comic Bear Mageddon, um, which is still close to my heart. I mean, I love it. It's like my Edgar Wright movie. Like, I just like, I want to make this slacker horror comedy about bears. And uh, I actually am still working on it quietly. I'm, it's not updating on the site at the moment, but I still plan to finish it. So every week, at least once a week, I'll, I'll work on panels. But um, but the tough thing about a, a comic like that is nothing can go viral, and it's a continuing you know one page at a time. Nobody's going to share one page, and then that'll get shared a bunch. Uh, so trying to get people to discover it. Um, when I was really updating it regularly, I was trying to be strategic about how to get people to kind of find it. And so I started doing these bear memes just kind of as a way to try to like create a brand of Bear Mageddon. Uh, so I created Bear Mageddon News Network and basically created the onion of bear news. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that Babylon Bee had just come out. And I remember telling my buddy who made the website with me, just like, just copy the Babylon Bee but make it bears. <laughs> and, uh, and I'll write all the articles and do all the photoshops. And so I just started putting out one article a day on that. And, um, and some of them just went so crazy viral. You know, I, some of them made front page of Reddit. Uh, and then a lot of those images I make, like kind of the diagrams of bear attacks and stuff, have been just robbed and like shared by all these giant accounts. And they've had just gazillions of views. And luckily I put my logo on all that. And that was the goal is it just for it to spread and get some recognition there. Um, and I don't know how many people that got over to the comic. But uh, so I wanted to make a Kickstarter for Bear Mageddon because it's, it's, it's going to be a fully epic. Uh, I was thinking about doing uh, in multiple volumes, so I was going to do volume one. Um, but I was really nervous because I, I would be heartbroken and I might not finish Bear Mageddon if the Kickstarter failed. So I really wanted to do something that I wasn't, wasn't as close to my heart. I wanted to do something I could just do is dip, dip my toes in crowdfunding. And I had all this bear meme stuff I'd been working on for the year. <clears throat> and so I knew I could crank that book out. I already had like probably a third of it done on the website and I could crank the rest out. So I decided kind of as my, just same thing, Axe Cop was kind of a test run for web comics. Uh, this was my test run for a, a crowdfunding, and it did great. I mean, it made, you know, I think my, uh, like three times what I was trying to get, and uh, you know, got, it's my first hardcover book I've ever had published in my life, because none of my publishers have ever done that, so. Um, <coughs> Yeah, really thrilling and fun to have a book that's my own, and I love selling it. If you buy that book on Amazon or from my site, they all come from me. So uh, any t- if you bought Bears Want to Kill You, it came from my garage. I packaged it up for you, and I put a stamp on it. I, if, if, you know, if you got a signed one, I signed it. So uh, there's probably some little... Uh, bits of cigar and stuff in there. <laughs> <laughs> there's a Rocky Patel just stashed in the back of one of them. Yeah. Um, fl- these little brown flakes that's a uh, cigar chunks ma- ma- make sure you give the box a good sniff yeah so i yeah. D- i did Got have to patina. say I, I loved the packaging i love the stamp that was on it one of my favorite sections uh and this if you're reading along at home with your copy of bears want to kill you if you don't have one you can uh, go down to the show notes buy one purchase it on amazon <laughs> or through the axe bear store and get one immediately and then you can restart this podcast from here on page 128 <laughs> Bear Scams and Propaganda. Um, Bear propaganda has invaded many cultures, from fabric softener to honey bottles to toilet paper commercials. Bears are portrayed as soft, cuddly, and fun to snuggle with. Then we're going to skip down. Below are some of the most popular ways bears use propaganda to coax us into naive complacency and make us more vulnerable to bear attacks. Just about every page of this book has made me crack up, Mm -hmm. but this section in particular, uh, teddy bears, gummy bears, sports teams, gay (laughs) culture, and the the favorite bear claws. Like, how do you come up with this stuff? It's all bear-related material, and it's a whole book. Right, because it it seems like there's... We've interviewed a lot of comics, and they're like, you know, if you have a joke, you can use it for... 
you know, um, maybe 10 to 20 minutes, you have used it for over 300 pages. Like, how do you keep <laughs> getting like consistently funny material out out of bears and bears even make an appearance in in axe cop the bear council right. um is in i believe it's season two of axe cop which you can find on hulu so so how does that happen i mean yeah it's just a matter of uh i started writing all these memes and jokes about around bears and it kind of created its own lore so it kind of became there is a backstory that you kind of start to sense as you read that bear book uh that the bears are taking over um these are the things you can do. And it's like, I think that's funny about it is, I think what makes good comedy, which I think, I mean, I think this is almost a law of comedy. Like what, what makes a situation funny and comedic is when a character is determined to accomplish something that they clearly cannot accomplish. <laughs> and uh, that's just, that's slapstick in a nutshell. And, uh, and so that's, and that's what bears want to kill you is. It's like, it's a survival guide about a world where you will definitely die. And so I think there's, there's always that element um, there's a ridiculousness of just taking bears as far as they go. And, you know, I think some people look at it and they go, oh, it's a one note joke. It's the same joke. But and to me, like, that's the, that's it. Like, if you want so, like some, if, if, the, if it appeals to you that I'm going to make these dumb bear jokes and you just want a book where you can just like, when you're in the mood, flip to a random page. And my goal is to have at least one funny thing on every page. So whatever page you flip to. You don't have to read the book in order. You can just pop into it, and I, it's just going to be funny. I, I, for I, me, that's it. I can confirm. Uh, earlier today, I was just flipping through it. Every page made me laugh out loud. Yeah, and I will say to uh, – now, while you can order this on Amazon, if you go through the the Axe Bear store, you do have some options, and Ethan will personalize some artwork for you. This was another part of – um, the package that I got when I ordered Brave Ollie Possum and Bears Want to Kill You at the same time. Um, he did the artwork in the front of Brave Ollie Possum and also in there we get to add a little a little note to him, told him a little bit about our story, wrote us a very nice note, and the artwork is phenomenal. And this is going to be one of those things that like that we we pass on because Brave Ollie Possum is definitely going to be something that until, we read. Until I steal it. Yeah, until you steal it. 